All right, so this year, Fox 13 is teaming up with IASIS Healthcare to answer some of your questions. And today we're talking about women's health issues. And you can call 1 844 744 3258 anytime between now and 6 o'clock. You can see behind me there's a phone bank going on, and people are going to be answering your questions. And joining us live right now, this Tom gentleman that is standing next to me, Dr. Ryan Miller from Davis Hospital and Medical Center, joining us this afternoon to talk about endometriosis. Right? right? Right, endometriosis. So. so what exactly is it? Endometriosis is a condition which uh, is very frustrating for women, but tissue that normally lines the inside of the uterus migrates outside of the uterus. This tissue gets displaced, irritated, and then over time can form scar tissue. So sometimes the ovaries can also be involved and develop cysts called endometriomas. Oh, so how do women typically get clued in that they have um, this condition? What are some of the symptoms? So the symptoms are really pain, pain, pain. Chronic pelvic pain that lasts for months to years. Uh, painful periods, painful bowel movements, painful urination, painful intercourse. Sometimes they experience excessive bleeding, infertility, uh, change in bowel habits, nausea, and even bloating. Does this all happen at once or can a woman experience one or two of those symptoms and still need to go to the doctor? Sure, they can experience either the symptoms as isolated basis or all at once, but it usually develops over a long period of time. So at what point should um, a woman go to a doctor? You know, it's important to discover endometriosis early to avoid complications such as unnecessary pain and infertility. So as soon as you think you're having any of these symptoms, I would recommend seeing your OBGYN physician as soon as possible. Yeah, I was going to ask you why it's important to treat this condition. Well, treatment can, uh, it can have effect on fertility and then, of course, pain. So treatment options include pain medications, hormone therapy, conservative surgery where you remove the endometrial tissue but preserve the ovaries and uterus. And then as a last resort, if you're willing to concede fertility, but your symptoms are so severe, you may want to undergo a hysterectomy. Oh, wow. So it's pretty serious. And, and if you don't get treatment, what, what are the risk factors? And Well, again, fertility is the big one if you don't get treatment. And then you have to deal with pain for several years, so that can be quite frustrating. All right, Dr. Miller, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Appreciate your time. Again, we just want to remind our viewers, people who are watching, if you have any questions, these people, these uh, women right here behind me that are on the phones are here until 6 o'clock tonight. We're going to be delving into another topic that has to do with women's health issues at 5 o'clock. Hope we'll be talking about that. But again, you can call the number on your screen right now. Again, that's 1-844-744-3258. Thanks again. Thank you. We'll be right back.